Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I make sticker packs for the Red Bubble store. Um, specifically stickers made from photography because I'm started a new shop with landscape and travel photography, a, a new Red Bubble shop, and I need to make some sticker packs for that. So I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. I use Canva. Canva is awesome. It's a really simple platform to use. It's lots of fun. You can make Besides um, this uh, graphic designs, you can make thumbnails, you can make little video promotional videos, you can make cards, you can use it for presentations, you can use it for uh, printables, you can use it, I don't know, there's thousands of possibilities using Canva. I'm going to link, to use, uh, link the link below for uh, to sign up for it. There's a free version and there's a paid version. I use the paid version because I use it all the time. but the free version is pretty good too. So now, but to no further ado, let's go into the sticker packs. Hi guys, so if you're new to this channel, I'm Natalie. I make art related videos. I make videos on how to create art, but also how to market your art and try to get your uh, art out there and make money with it. This pers In this particular video, I'm going to have a Coupon code for Redbubble, $15 off as a thank you for you guys watching my video. So go down in the description, there is a coupon code you can use on, on the entire store to get $15 off. And there's also my store is also listed down there. Okay, so let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so we're here in Canva. This is the screen here, uh, the home screen. And what you do is you go to create new design a design then go to custom there's all these possibilities but you need custom i'm just going to do the five by the five thousand it's easy square i think the best actually dimensions for red bubble for any design is five thousand by seven thousand but on camera you can't go that far with the original you can upload it higher but originally you can't but for this it doesn't really matter as long as this five by five is good worked okay so now we go to this then we go to upload this is where all the uploaded images are from your computer or wherever it comes from i'm going to use this pineapple design so i click on it there but today and then, then here you can delete it again but because we're making stickers sticker packs I'm going into elements and then under elements because I already was used some of these you can go up here I'm just going to show you how to get to it and just put in frames oops can't spell frames and then you get all these different frames I don't know why this one I guess I touched it all kinds of different frames which means you can put your image inside that frame yeah I'm not doing that one either but I'm thinking of the ones I did before with the photography was these ones are kind of cute. Hmm. Star puzzle. That one is weird. Just keep it simple somewhat. I had the ones that with the frayed edges. You have to find those, like these, this one. I'm gonna use one of these. Try to fit it in here, make it smaller. With those dots, you can pull in and pull out. We can arrange it later. We'll see how many other ones you in here and then I like this funny shaped one so that one oops why do I have two now I guess I pressed too hard you got to be careful sometimes I'm not super expert at this and you have to make sure you have to make sure you don't uh, put them too close and too far from the edge see the camera kind of gives you the square where it's in 
Uh, what else? One more other one. Maybe this one. You can change the the frame color up here. It pops up as soon as you put it in there. Canva recognizes the colors. If you can change them. So I'm gonna go white. Now I need one more. Maybe that one. Whoops, I didn't go. As you can see, there are free ones and there is pro ones, it says on them. See, no, this one is free too. It says on some of them it says pro. Free, free. Up here, you can select, you want free ones and you want static because now they also have animation so you don't, you can narrow it down a little more. You could also even get have color selected too, but apply filter. So these should be all free anyway. Sometimes you get pro designs, which I'm not sure you can use for everything. So I'm just using the free ones. I think as long as you change the design itself, you can use it to sell, use it uh, professionally. Okay, so now we got this figured out. Now let's go to uploads. Get that and then you, see, you go like that and then it fits in there. Sometimes you have to fiddle around a little bit with it. That one. There you go. I don't know if you it's as small as it goes. Okay. Um there. So we got our stickers. Again, make sure I don't know, this one seems a little close to that one. Make sure you got enough room because it'll be a cutout. It should be fine. Okay, so we got our design. Now we go up here. So safe as, safe as transparent because you don't want this white background to be part of it. So save as transparent. Then it goes on to your, either you do this on the computer or you can even do this on your phone or in my case, it's on my iPad. It always it depends how big the file is and how busy it is. See, it says save to camera roll. Okay, so now let's get out of this. Okay, now we are in my other shop. Now I go to manage portfolio because here I have already the design. I'm just going to go to edit and it's going to take a second. I'm also going to change these ones, but I'm going to do that my own time I'm just gonna show you with the stickers this one here for the to make them more fun looking not so boring with the square it's the same idea you use a frame you pluck in this and then it has like jagged edges or you can have a heart or whatever you like to make it more fun so let's go to Where are the stickers? I'm sleeping. Spin stickers. There. Edit. Then you just go to replace image. You go to the library or wherever you have yours. There it is. 
use. It's not going to take very long. Sorry for the hammering. We're almost done. Okay. Now it's uploaded. Now you can, I'm going to click on, you can see we have some cool, cute little stickers. You can do that with any design, but I just chose photo photography, apply changes, and there you go. It's the same with the magnets. Now let's go down here. So I'm not going to uh, save this right now because I'm going to work on those shirts. But I hope this is going to be helpful for you guys. Make sure you check out the canvas, canvas, sorry, link down below and go play around with Canva. It's a lot of fun. It's very useful. And there's so many possibilities. Okay, make sure you like and just sus like, subscribe if you want more videos like this. And to see you in the next one, make sure you check out all those videos about Redbubble and designing on my channel. See you in the next one.